everybody, here I am at Hollywood Studios, and look who I'm with. Hey! Hey, I got Cameraman Greg. And guess what, guys? This is Cameraman Greg's very first time being here at Hollywood Studios. So to do, to, in order to celebrate that, we are gonna ride every single attraction in one day here at this, at this park. You think we can do it? I think we can do it. Well, I, I think, I have no idea, actually. <laughs> He Maybe? Doesn't. I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't know what's going on. All right, guys, let's go figure this out. We're going to try to ride every single track seat in one day. Hey, yo. All right, so I don't know what the best way to do this to ride every single attraction in one day. I'm thinking we're gonna start with Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Good morning. Hi. What do you think about that? Are you excited for this ride? Heck yeah. You, you don't even know anything about it, do I you? I don't. I just know that everybody loves it. We gotta get some of the big ones out I of the way. Got you got the goosebumps? You got the goosebumps. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. Feels good to be back? It does. Oh, it's just like the back of my head just like tightened up. <laughs> <laughs> they got the goosebumps. Oh my gosh, we just walked here. The park, I thought, doesn't open till nine, but they're letting us get on the ride anyways. Come on, Greg. Right through. This is it, this if is this exciting. This is gonna go, then we're set. So the last time Cameron and Greg was in a Disney park was on January 10th of 2020. He was yep. filming with Amanda, the Secrets of Bill for Snow White, Snow White's Scary Adventures, which is now Snow White's Enchanted Wish, not open yet, but soon. And then he was gonna go with us on the whole world tour. And he was gonna meet us in Shanghai, yep. and then go to Hong Kong. And then from Hong Kong, he was gonna go to Tokyo. And then from Tokyo, he was gonna go to Alani with us, and then back to Disneyland. But, you know, 2020 happened. Yeah, perfect. All the plans went up in the air. Yeah. So there's been, we haven't had a chance to actually be with Greg in the park. Cameron Greg's excited and nervous. It keeps, he goes, he goes, I doesn't quite feel like Disneyland yet. He goes, it feels like I'm in Disney California Adventure which I think is what this park feels like. Super excited! First ride of the day. First ride. First ride of the day. And we walked right through the line. Like walked that. right through. It's amazing. Amazing. If it's like this, we're gonna get through everything today. I hope it stays this way. <laughs> Welcome aboard, folks. We're ready for a relaxing ride around the park. Attraction ever at, at Hollywood Studios. What do you think? It's awesome. I loved it. That's uh, it's it's kind of similar to like the Rise of the Resistance style. Yes, but trackless ride. A super fun, uh, cartoony adventure with all your favorite characters. Now, some of you might be asking, Hey, Chris, why are you filming? Hello, hi. Good morning. Good morning. Why are you filming? And how come Cameron and Greg's not filming? Well, I'm gonna let him start filming because that's his job, really. But it's his first time here. I want him just to enjoy it and not have to worry about filming. I'll take it. 
We are now headed over to ride Tower of Terror and Rock and Roller Coaster. We'll let camera and Greg, which one do you want to ride first? Tower of Terror or Aerosmith's Rock and Roller Coaster? Rock and Roller Coaster! Rock! Dun 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 My glasses, I can't even see anything. It is, you guys, you don't even know. It is so cold. Yeah, it's actually For really cold. Florida weather, it's freezing. Did you see my hill click? I did. It was a wonderful hill click. Let's see cameraman Greg's kill click. He's skating. Oh, what was that? Rock and roller coaster, Aerosmith. We have a whole video about this in the Secrets Revealed if you want to see that. Right over here. I remember it when I was younger that there was, they played like- They played, stuff. no, they played Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, I'm pretty so sure Cameron Greg's Space confused. Space Mountain had, had Red Hot Chili Peppers, not Aerosmith. Unless I'm wrong, unless I'm wrong, but I, I'm usually not wrong. Cameron and Greg, you, Cameron and Greg, if, if one of us is going to be wrong, whatever. Admit it. Never. Admit it. No. It's true. It's not. So let me do a little bit of history here. Cameron and Greg used to live in California when we started the channel, lived in California, Irvine. That's where I used to live, was Irvine. Then he just recently moved to Utah, but then the last month he's been in Texas. He flew straight from Texas to here. Yep. Can you see my one glass? I see one. I, this oh. is so <laughs> difficult. He flew straight from Texas to here, and I called him and I'm like, Cameron Greg, I'm like, this is it. My last offer. Take you to Walt Disney World if you want to go. And he's like, I'm going to make this one happen. Yep. True. Uh, how many times have you I'm pretty sure this was like last week. Yeah. How many times do you how many times do you think I've offered for him to come? How many how many times have I asked you to come here? At least five. <laughs> At least. I couldn't believe it. You kept turning me down. One thing I guess I'd, I'll just say I've noticed was it's just a little weird not seeing anybody everybody's faces. All you get is their eyes. So it's kinda of, you just kinda of get everybody's you have, stares. You have to communicate through eyes, like Yeah. You gotta get Real big eye movements, which I don't really do. Like if you're happy, you're like, uh, ah. Right, no, that's surprise. Like, no, no, surprise is eyebrows up for surprise. Confused? Yeah. Oh. Angry. Verklempt. I'm gonna see if I can get my name on a poster. Oh, look, it did it. Sophia Carson. That's not me. Okay, so you go in the next area, this is where Aerosmith would greet you and tell you that they have, they're already late and you get on the show. But they can't do that anymore, so I'm gonna reenact it for Greg, because he's never seen this. Yo! Welcome to LA, man! I gotta go, I gotta go, catch, gotta get to my uh, concert! We're gonna be running late! So you catch the limo, and I'll meet you at the back show! Woo! <laughs> it, was, it was a little bit better than that. <laughs> it's like being backstage at a concert! Oh, there they go! Alright! So I'm gonna test cameraman Greg to see if he's watched our videos on Pro's podcast since he hasn't been filming them. On the secrets you build for Arrow Pass, what is the best rows here? Five and six. That's right, five and six, you get the best cheese. Yeah. What did you think? I, I, what did you think? That was awesome. That was amazing, isn't it? The song we got was Dude Looks Like a Lady. Dude, dude, dude looks like a lady. I love the twists and turns of corkscrews, man. Roller coaster. Was it what you expected? Was it what you expected or what? It's a, it was darker than I expected. Darker. I thought it was gonna be a little more of like, we're flying through the stage, but you're kind of like on the way to the concert. Flying through not, the stage. Not, not the I, that, I have no idea what that means. Now this is Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy. I've never done this. I don't even know what it is. This might be the children's ride. We don't know what it is. But that's okay. We're that's riding fine. every ride everything. there is, guys. That's right, everything. Every ride, we're gonna try to get every single ride in Hollywood Studios in one day. And this is supposed to be the most packed day. If they had the Heimlich Choo Choo train, we, we would, would be ride. doing it. We're waiting in line for the Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy, and we are the only adults without children waiting in the line. Yes, this is true. And we also found that it's not a ride. <laughs> yeah, it's a show. It's a show. But we're doing all the rides and attractions. We're hitting them all. Yeah, what the heck? Got to do it. Real quickly, show me sadness with your eyes. Wait. I can't. That looks, that looks tired. I'm not sad. I can't be sad. 
Show me sadness. He likes cars. You like anything competitive though. I do, I am a very competitive person. I don't like to admit that, but I am more competitive than Cameron and Greg. Holy cow. So you, you sit down, they have everything, they have everything uh, like social distancing. Lightning McQueen's signature catchphrase. Ka-chow! Put the wheels together for a second time, President Ontario! Greg loves Lightning McQueen. I do. He does. And the kids were like laughing at all the jokes. And guess who also was laughing? I was. I was laughing. Yeah, Cameron and Greg was laughing. And then all of a sudden, uh, Lightning McQueen goes, ka -chow! And Cameron and Greg's like, ka -chow! <laughs> It was like seven little kids and Cameron and Greg were all enjoying the show. <laughs> <laughs> we're now off to do the Tower of Terror. Dun, dun, dun. So how do you feel about this? You're writing Tower of Terror because you haven't written this in years now because- Since it was in California. Since it was in California. Well, how do you I feel about excited. this? I don't, I think it's the same as how it was in California, so. It's a little bit different. Oh, okay. It's a little bit different, but a little bit the same. So it's kind of something new. It's for me. Oh yeah, it's gonna be newish. Like I'm gonna throw an ish on the new. Right. Okay, so here is every single attraction that they have, and we're gonna do every one of them today. Like every single one of them. Beep, boop, beep. We're gonna get every one of these attractions done today in one day, and one of the most crowded days in the, in the whole year. So we actually even have a secret revealed video of the Tower of Terror here in Florida. You can watch that right over here, boop. Now, let's see if Cameraman Greg actually watched that because he didn't film it. Sometimes he doesn't like to watch the ones he doesn't film. I don't know why. Uh, in that in that video, we talk about a book called To Serve Man. What is To Serve Man? A cookbook. <laughs> yes, it's a cookbook. He knows everything. Cameron Greg's a little sad because they don't have that Twilight Zone introduction when you walk into the library. Yeah, you miss that that little like that little uh, little snack, if you will. Snack. A little snack to get you ready and little, punch for the little, ride. It whets your appetite. Dun, 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 dun. He's nervous, he's trying to get a seatbelt on really fast. <laughs> I love this ride. I love the drops, they're so fun. <laughs> I, mean, I love sad. drop rides. I love those rides. I just love that feeling in my stomach and the drops. Oh, it's so cool. And it's different than the yeah. one that I was used to in California. Yeah. So even cool. Be bonus. Okay, so here's what we have to do. We now have we've got rise of resistance in 25 minutes, I think. So we gotta get some food because we're hungry. Yes. And we gotta we gotta power up because we gotta get every attraction today. Hey look, I found your food. I do want that donut right there. The, the, the blue. Lie. The blue frosting, I've had it, it's so delish. Ah. The week between Christmas and New Year's is supposed to be the most, one of the most crowded times of the park. And it is starting to get a little more crowded here at the park. It's gonna make a goal of getting all the attractions in one day a little more difficult. Okay, new plan. We are off to Rise of Resistance. Our boarding just got called. So they have this new thing here where they, they at seven in the morning, you can log in, you have a reservation to get in the park, and you try to get your uh, boarding group. Cameron Greg was able to get our boarding group, uh, and we are group number 26. And they just called us. 
So we, we were like, well, we better go do that instead of eat. That's more important. We're gonna scan our bands to make sure we can get in. Hi guys. Hello. Oh. Thank you. This is the second time I've ridden this ride. My wife Amanda has not ridden this ride at all. I feel a little bit guilty, but not guilty enough to get out of line. But a little guilty. It's my second time too. Hey. Hey. I have all kinds of emotions. Like excitement, like, I don't know. My stomach is like, it's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm excited. I wrote this the first time, we have a video on that one. I got almost, it's like, I'm almost emotional. You can watch that here. This ride, Rise of Resistance, isn't so much a ride, it's an experience. It's a literal experience that you're experiencing. He's taking off the jacket, guys. He's getting nervous for the ride. He's <laughs> getting a little hot and bothered because we're getting on the Star Wars ride. He's like, I'm ready. I'm excited. Whenever I see something like this, it reminds me of Hoth. It reminds, and I know that they had it in Star Wars and the A New Hope, but that just felt that type of tactical map reminds me of Hoth. <laughs> Good. Your outpost on Batuu is no longer safe. We're like, we know Kylo. He's like a friend of ours. It's like, we went to school together. We're about to be interrogated. He told them we went to school with Kylo Ren. He's like, you did not go to school with Kylo Ren. I'm like, oh, we did. The Jedi Academy. Leave us. Yes, General. Enemies of the First Order, we will soon snap out your meager resistance. You chose the wrong side, and now you will pay. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. This is R5. R5. Hurry and don't get caught. Get him on. than the one that I had. So did you see the, his TIE fighter before? Is this the second time you see the TIE yeah, fighter? Yeah, yes. That same area, Kylo came out and like attacked us. Oh, yeah, you're right. And, uh, he got, and they got sucked out the Yeah, the, yeah that's, this is new. This is new, I, I was totally, I gotta get my hand sanitizer. You're right, because the one, cause Kylo got sucked out of the airlock. That's and right. This time it was a TIE fighter. This it's such a good ride. Oh, an it's experience. A, it's amazing. It is an experience. Truly, an experience. so awesome. Mm -hmm. Get a little food. Got a little meat lovers pizza. Caesar salad, holiday cannoli, and a Coca Cola. Coca. Gregory, I'm so hungry. I'm so thirsty. Tastes delicious. Okay, so we just finished eating lunch and now we're gonna go back and getting all these attractions. Cameron Greg is confident we'll hit them all. Yeah, I am. 
But when we see Muppet 3D, Greg's theory is this. He thinks that we watch the Muppets show and then it'll be noon and then everybody's gonna go to lunch and there won't be any more lines. I don't think you understand how Disneyland and <laughs> Disney works, but. That's totally how it works. All right, let's go in and see Muppet 3D. This is awesome. I love this Dive Hard 2. Just when we thought it was safe to go back in the water, somebody drained the pool. Starring Dr. Bunsen Honeydew as coach and Beaker as Billy Whopper. Another fathomless fabrication from Muppet Labs. What a rama. So real, your fingers will get all pruny. Darn chores. She swore. <laughs> There's not a comma there. You gotta keep reading. She swore she started signing another autograph. <laughs> Cameraman Greg, let's see if he watched this video. Once again, he didn't videotape it, so sometimes he doesn't like to watch that, but let's see. One of my favorite videos I've ever filmed here, we did Secrets Revealed on the Ground. It's hidden secrets on the ground here at Walt Disney Studios, all the different parks. Walk right in there, There's a. it says, there's a mat. Do you know what's underneath that mat? A key. <laughs> He knows it all. Back in five minutes, key is under mat. <laughs> this is the most crowded I've ever seen the Muppets. It's like the line went around the building. Yes. And back. Greg's theory of everybody's gonna be at lunch. It's happening. I mean, it's early enough. Come on. I don't know why I kept doing this. <laughs> Tron. Because you know I love Tron. This movie is exactly the same as it's, as it's been since opening day. They've not changed the Muppet Theater. Now, in California, they, they don't have it anymore. It's gone. It turned into like a frozen sing-along. Then they do they show other new movie previews. But here in Florida, they still have Muppet 3D. 3D. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? That's <laughs> For those of you who have seen it, the end those walls explode. Spoiler! I should have said spoiler before I said that. Sorry. I'm not very good at this camera work. <laughs> Now we're headed to Smuggler's Run. According to cameraman Greg, this will be the time when nobody's gonna be here because it's lunchtime. Well, not not nobody, but you know, it's short lines. He doesn't know what he's talking about at all. Oh, here we are in Batu. Do you love it? I love Batu. All the little sights and sounds. You got all the cool Star Wars and stuff. It is a world to behold. So, Batu is literally exactly the same layout as it is in California. The shops and the rides and the attractions of food is all in the exact same spot. So it doesn't matter if you're in Florida, California, you know exactly where to go because it's exactly the same. This is the line. It's an 80 minute wait. Well, we gotta do it. This is still the line for Smuggler's Run. I may have been slightly off. Just a little smidge. Oh my gosh, the line goes all the way past here. This is leading out of Batu. Now, keep in mind, it's because of social distancing, it's really spread out. But still, this is really long. Lunch crowd. And that's just for the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, leave the jokes to me. He's pretty funny though, isn't he? I've never seen it like this. Have you ever seen it like this? Literally never, ever. Nor would I ever think that it could be that long. In front of that big ship, Boo -boo! That goes into the amp, the first order store. And look guys, this these doors are open because the line goes through here.
Uh, Greg, while we're waiting in line, why uh, is why does Yoda have such an impressive vegetable garden? Because he has a green thumb. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> hey, Greg, what do you call five Sith on his, that are stacked on a lightsaber? A Sith kebab. <laughs> hey, hey, Cameron, Greg. Yes, dear. What does a Jedi use to open up a document? Adobe Wan Kenobi. <laughs> Hey, Cameron Greg, what do you call a bounty hunter from the south? Bubba Fett. <laughs> hey, Cameron Greg, what side of an Ewok has the most fur? The outside. <laughs> hey, Cameron Greg, yes. what do you call a female Mandalorian? A Fandalorian? A woman lord a woman lord dealer. <laughs> a woman DeLorean? <laughs> Thank you, dang it! So she's a car? <laughs> what? Hey Cameron and Greg. Yes. Friendly reminder. It's a little cold outside and Ewoks are indoor pets. <laughs> hey Cameron and Greg. Yes. Now that Disney owns Star Wars, what is Darth Vader's favorite song? When you wish upon a Death Star. <laughs> Death Star? Hey Cameron and Greg. Hey. Why is uh, Darth Vader not recommended for children under three? Why? He's a choking hazard. <laughs> hey, Cameron and Greg. Hey. What's Yoda's advice for going to the bathroom? What? Do do. <laughs> <laughs> or do, do not do. <laughs> do do or do not do do. <laughs> hey, Cameron and Greg. Yeah. What do you call Obi Wan's twin brother? What? Obi also. <laughs> Hey, Cameron Greg. Hey. What do you call an invisible droid? What? See through PO. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cameron Greg. Hey. What did everybody call Lando before he became a really good pilot? Crasho? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cameron Greg. Hey. Did you hear about the Gung Gung who became a taxi driver? No. He named his car 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 Binks. <laughs> car Car. Hey, Cameron Greg. Hey. What do you call a pirate droid? What? R2D2. <laughs> gonna make it, gonna make it, we're gonna make it, gonna make it till we break it. Then we're gonna take it. We certainly won't fake it till we make it. <laughs> Let's not break it. For the sake of it, I see a leaf. I better rake it. I see a cake, and I want to eat it. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and I was like, I gotta go. <laughs> Click. Hey, cameraman Greg, do you know whose box that is? Because it ain't Joe Box. <laughs> We're almost inside. <laughs> that, now we're almost to where the line starts. We made it inside. Yay! Look, they're using a droid as a garbage can. Back in the Millennium Falcon. And Greg just found something. No, this is a motorcycle cylinder head. Uh, no, it's no not. Banger. It's a twin ion engine. <laughs> this close to getting in. We are now entering into the Millennium Falcon. So this is the whole of the Millennium Falcon. Before COVID, you could walk around and touch things, but now you have to wait in those little color dots. So we're getting ready to go on the flight. Since it's just the two of us, I agree that you only put two in this little cockpit, we're gonna be piloting. Here we go, guys, we're flying this bad boy. I'm left and right, Greg is up and down. Push the fuzzy button, here we go. I'm gonna try to crash. Just we can, guys. Literally, I'm gonna try to crash this. Okay, we're flying, guys. Hit the boosters. We're gonna get a good score. All right, good score. We're no longer screwing around. Yes, yes, keep shooting. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm flying down here. Hard left, hard left, hard left. Oh! I'm reluctant to admit this. Greg's theory might be correct because this used to be all the line. And now that line is moved, so maybe everybody went to lunch, like a late, late lunch, I don't know. But everyone had the same idea we did, I guess. Okay, we're now walking into Toy Story Land. And uh, I guess the first thing I wanna do is the aliens whirling saucers, swirling saucers. So we are about to do the alien swirling saucers, and I have to be honest with you, I've never done this ride before, so... What? Me either. All right, so we're waiting in line for the alien swirling saucers, and everything's based off of Buzz Lightyear and the Little Green Man. That docking control. When you're waiting in line, they have these little hands-on things. They don't work, they, they turn them off, so don't even touch them, but that little button doesn't do anything anymore. Now we're entering into the orange section. My very favorite color. I love it. This ride is very similar to the tomato toe in a Disney California Adventure. It's identical. So this one here is we themed for the little green man, whereas in Disney California Adventure, it's tomato toe mater. Two more attractions to do here in Toyland. We got uh, Midway Mania, which I have never lost to Camera Greg ever in the history of it. Not and true. And we got Slinky Dog Dash. I've totally beat you. That's a lot. So we are now leaving outside of Toy Story Land. You might be thinking, but Chris, you didn't ride the last two attractions. Yeah, because the line goes out of 
the Toy Story Land for both attractions, Midway Mania and Slinky Dog. I've never seen a line for Slinky Dog this long. It goes all the way to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. It's the end of the line. Just want to make sure I enter from the, the end of the line here. I'm going to zoom in around and have The best part about this is just waiting with your friends in line for 80 minutes. <laughs> We are still in line for Slinky Dog Dash, barely entering in back into Toy Story Land. Give me your best Woody impersonation. I got a snake in my boot. Reach for the sky. This has always been a little confusing me, to me. See, green for go, then yellow, then orange, red. It's like, go, 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 go. But what that be like, go, go, warning, stop. All right, Cameron Greg, what has been your favorite thing so far today that we've done? Waiting in the shortest lines I've ever been in. Oh, <laughs> that, that, it's so fun to be together in those lines. I'm just kidding. Uh, no, Mickey and Minnie's Railway has been pretty awesome. Mickey and Minnie's Railway? Yeah, I think that was the most memorable so far. What toy would you mostly want, Greg? The Slinky, the Slinky Frog, or the Slinky Train? Frog. Frog? I would want this. I would want the train. At what age do you stop enjoying a Slinky? Eighty-nine. Nope, sixty-one. Oh. Uh, Woo! That one felt like a long line. That one felt like a long. Line. It was all the outside and the sun is hot. We're tired, but now we're in the back row. Here at Provost Park Pass. Well, what did you think? Worth it. Worth it. <laughs> now we got to do Toy Story Mania. Yes. Greg. Toy Story Mania. Cameron and Greg, be honest. Be honest and don't lie. Talk up so everybody can hear you. Have you ever beat me at Midway Mania? Yes. You liar. <laughs> no, he hasn't. I swear he has not. I can either film it and we can film him, or I could not film it, and we could just go for scores. If I don't film it, then I'll get a really high score, but then you won't be able to see the action. So it's a, it's a I don't know what to do. I don't know, I think people would want to see uh, who wins. Really? All right. Toy Story Mania. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I think that's a ego thing. He's actually never beaten me on the ride, ever once. It's not true, I have once. Once? Yeah. Okay, so this is it. We just talked to our really good friend Jeff, who knows this game really well. He said that we'll get a high score if we work together. Yeah, so we, apparently we can't, we can kind of play against each other, but we, we have, have to work, work together, together to so activate the high points. Yep. And then when we're done, we're going to show you what our scores are. Mine will still be higher, even though we're working together. Who's Let's, got the faster trigger? We'll find out. <laughs> For Chris, red for Greg. Oh! 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 There it is, baby. I ended up being Greg, barely. So close. So close. I actually had him all the way up until the end. The entire by like, game. By like 20,000. By the entire, the entire game, Cameron and Greg was ahead of me. The entire game. The entire game. Until the very last round when I just, I blew past him. Yep. Now I'll tell you what the secret is. I know a secret. 
that uh, I think the reason why I won. And I'm hesitant to say, my hair looks funny. I'm hesitant to say why this is, because then once I tell you this, then you're gonna be able to do this. At the beginning of the game, you get a practice round, right? Practice. Cameron Greg is practicing like crazy. He's like, bah, 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 bah. he's shooting a ton, right? I don't shoot any. I shoot one or two, just to make sure that my gun is working. I save my arm. I don't want my arm to be tired at all. Because when I get to that last round with the mine cards, you have to shoot them fast as you can. If you do that, you're gonna get a bunch of 2,000 points bonuses. And I got a lot more 2,000 point bonuses than Cameron Gray did. I think it's because his arm was tired. Maybe. 239. He beat me. He's, I'll admit it. He's sullen and sad, but we'll get, we'll get through it. We are now off to do Star Tours. Yep. One of my favorite rides in Disneyland. Oh yeah. I love it's, it. The, the exterior here in Florida is better than Disneyland. It is. You walk through for us, there's a giant ad at, and it looks really cool. There it is, guys. Star Tours. I say Star Tours. Cameron Greg says Star Tours. Is it Tours or Tours? Check us out, guys. It's like I'm in a snow speeder flying through. <laughs> To the leg. Tell people. Like that. Come. Come and Let's go <laughs> this is the line for Star Tours. It looks like you're on the moon of Andor. Walk you through. All right, camera Greg, let me ask you a question. We're about to do Star Tours. Have you ever been to Rebel Spy? Yes. I sure have. Okay. What also are your favorite uh, episodes to fly into? Oh, Hoth, for sure. Hoth, I agree. Absolutely number one. I like it when Darth Vader starts it. I love Darth Vader. Yep. I like Hoth. Vader and I like the Boba Fett one. When they, like, I love when oh, Boba yeah. Fett, you blow up the Death Star, yes. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, those are my favorites. <laughs> Still getting used to my new programming. Look at that, it got it has great stuff. How was it? Love it. Always. It the never best. gets old. It never gets old. We got Kylo, we got Trash Compactor Monster. Well, so the, the Death Star. The Death Star and the Water Planet. And then we got the, the flying through the ships. So now we've got to go do what's called Vacation Fun. I think it's a show. So I've never done it before. How's your day going so far? Pretty awesome. We're almost done. What'd I say? What did I say? What did you say? I don't remember. We are gonna ride every single attraction in one day here at this, at this park. Do you think we can do it? I have no idea, actually. <laughs> Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> He's gotten cocky, guys. He's gotten cocky. Neither one of us even knows what we're in line to see. Nope. Nope, but we just we made a goal. We're seeing every, riding every ride, well, right, sorry, attraction, riding every attraction, and seeing every show. That's so, all we know. That's all we know. We've done it in Disneyland multiple times, so. We gotta do it here. Look at those seats. I love the seats. Now we're not gonna be able to videotape the, the, the cartoon. This is what we're seeing. Here's a quick recap of the movie. Minnie and Mickey are deciding to go on a vacation and thinking about going all these really foreign places. And like, they're gonna go like to Spain, uh, they're gonna go to uh, Switzerland, uh, Ireland, Egypt, Australia, but it all turns into disaster. So they decided, hey, let's go to foreign land, let's stay domestic. And they thought maybe we'll go to Idaho to go to potato land, but that turns out to be a disaster. So they end up going to Florida, Walt Disney World. Sure. And right behind us is potato land. Potato land. The very next thing now we have to do Walt Disney Presents. That's right. I don't know what it is. Me neither. They're presenting something. Walt Disney. Walt Disney Presents. Walt Disney One Man's Dream. They have this picture hanging in the baby care center in Disneyland, by the way. Marceline, Missouri, population 3920. Look at the Main Street, USA. 
Walt loved trains. Oswald, guys. Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Really considered the first. This just shows the whole evolution of how everything got started with Walt. Oh, look. The Jungle Cruise Adventureland. Look at that. Disneyland. There's Adventureland. You see it right there. You walk in, the walkway. The Jungle Cruise. It's changed so much now. That's the Tiki Room. It was originally designed to be a restaurant and changed it at the last minute. Oh, and then we got Disney's California Adventure. Yeah, they had the drop ride there. It's gone now. Now it's, that's the motion ride. The games. There's Midway Mania right there. That's now the tune, the cartoon one. And for those in Florida, look at their castle. Their castle is so much bigger than one in California. Cinderella's castle. And then they developed Batu, guys. There it is. So what I didn't realize is at the end of this hallway, if you want, there's a show you can go to. So we are going to go to the show. Look at all the pirate and pigsty. Look at this, all the bling. I thought this was just like a museum. That's what I thought. That's why I was spending all that time back there reading everything. So day. I had to run and grab them. I'm like, the show's starting in 42 seconds. Now 38 seconds. So I just found out a little about the show. I don't know anything about it. It's 17 minutes long. I didn't even know this was here. We can't record the show, obviously, but we'll tell you about it once it's done. It was absolutely amazing. It's just, it shows the life of Walt Disney. It really touched me. And I think the thing I didn't realize so much about it, I mean, you knew about it, but you don't realize it until I put it down, is he, how much failure he had in his life. Over and over, these things would keep falling apart and hardships would keep happening, but he didn't quit. And in that movie, he says, he goes, one of the best blessings you can have in your life is have hard failures in your life to learn from and then get better. And he kept making it better and better. And I highly recommend you watching that movie. We have one last attraction to do here at Hollywood Studios. And some people say that the la this last attraction is the best attraction at Hollywood Studios. You be a judge. It's the Disney Cheek Your Tears Party. <laughs> Cameraman Greg. Yes. Have you ever been to a Disney Junior Dance Party? No. Oh, your mind is going to be blown. It's amazing. There's a lot of dancing. I've seen Turtle Talk with Crush. That's not even, this isn't, this, this blows that out of the water. It's super fun. You get, it's that nervousness. That's what he feels right now going to the Disney Junior Dance Party. The, 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 he's probably he's got goose bumps in the back of his neck, not knowing what to expect. so hard. Look at him trying so hard. Get it, Greg. Get it. Get it, Greg. <laughs> yeah. Way to go, Mickey. Get it. Uh-huh. Jizzy Junior Dance Party. <laughs> Mr. Incredible. Yes. This is incredible, perfect, darling.
We did it. We hit every ride. Everything. Every show. Everything it was to be offered here at Hollywood Studios. It's starting to get dark right now, but we hit it all. Yes, we did. Anyways, put down in the comments down below what would be your favorite thing good. What is your favorite attraction here at Hollywood Studios? With the Tower of Terror, Rock and Roll Coaster, Disney Junior Dance Party, Walt. I mean, whatever it is. What was your very favorite? Rice? Oh, you know, what? No. No? I wouldn't say that. No, I really liked Mickey and Minnie's Mickey Runaway Railway. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Runaway, and and yeah. I love the Aerosmith Roller Coaster. That oh. Really fun. I love the Roller so Coaster. So fun. So fun. Very cool. And you guys, we're just going to end on here because we Amanda's not here. Let's just give her a little bit of love. This is what she'd want to see. I don't know if you guys know this, you guys know that we are giving away 100 gifts here. That's right, when we hit 100,000 subscribers, we're giving away 100 gifts. Yeah, and all you have to do in order to be eligible for that is just subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. Hit that little, subscribe, subscribe. Oh.